I'm Katie Walker Payne. I was a first grader during the Coatesville bombing. I was just seven and I was sitting kind of back in the corner coloring and, and I just looked up is all I did. And there she stood, a woman just dressed in white and said to me, Katie, and I thought, I don't know who you are, but she said, I love you very much and you need to listen to Travis. And in childlike, I just looked back down and then I looked up and she was gone. And I thought, I don't know who she was, but I knew she loved me. And I could feel that love for me. And I didn't know what was going to happen, but I knew I was loved. And it was comforting to know I was loved. And then a few seconds later, Travis came and got me and moved me to the window. And so it was months, it was a few months. And we sat in my parents' front room and they said, okay, tell me what you saw. And so I told them, and I said, but I don't know who she was. And they said, describe her to me. So my sister's describing what she saw. And then um, as she described, I said, I just turned to my mom and I was sitting on her lap by the piano. And I said, mom, she looked like you. And my mom's like, what do you mean she looks like me? And I said, she had dark hair like you. And I touched my mom's hair. And I said, she looked like you. And maybe that's why I thought the connection, because she looked like my mom, you know, maybe that's why I felt that connection. I wasn't weirded out by it. And so my mom started to cry. And as a seven-year-old, I thought, oh no, what did I do now? <laughs> why is my mom crying? What, what's wrong? And she just said, I'll be right back. And then she went and got the picture and opened the locket. And I knew instantly that that's who she was. And I said, that's her. I know that's her. And then my mom started to cry and said, but she's my mom. And I said, but that's her. No, that's her. She's the one that talked to me. That's her. I had never seen her. She had died when my mom was 15. And so I'm very glad that I was able to recognize because I would hate now to be thinking, who was that woman? Who, who talked to me? Who helped me out? Who told me exactly what I needed to do? And I'm grateful that she had that picture it was one of the only pictures that my mom had and now we've been able to get other pictures that are that I have in my home and things like that